Falconry is more than just a sport in the UAE. Falcons are a part of the tradition and culture of the country. Next up, we visit the first public hospital in the world dedicated to the care of these majestic birds, the Abu Dhabi Falcon Hospital. They're fed a special diet, they get an annual vacation, they have specialized medical services and attendants, and they even have their own passports. The Falcon has an exceptional position in Emirati society. And a visit to the Abu Dhabi Falcon Hospital, just outside Abu Dhabi city, is the best possible way to understand what that means. Falconry is one of the characteristic features of Emirati tradition. For many years, the Bedouin raised falcons for hunting meat in the desert. They were a key part of the essential livelihood of nomad tribes and a key element of the human survival. The past importance of the falcon is reflected in the respect and reverence with which the bird is treated today. Dr. Margaret, can you tell us a little bit about the Abu Dhabi Falcon Hospital? The Abu Dhabi Falcon Hospital has been opened in 1999 and this was the first public falcon hospital in the whole world. Annually we are treating around 6,000 birds here. And this amounts to around 60 to 80 falcons every day during the hunting season. We can hospitalize more than 250 falcons at the same time here on our site for treatment or if the owners are going on holidays and they need to keep the falcons in our falcon hotel. We are the leading center for falcon medicine worldwide, which means we are conducting research work here. We have discovered two new diseases in falcons already here, which we have published internationally in scientific magazines. And in the same time, we have a special training program for veterinarians and veterinary students. They come from all over the world to us, to Abu Dhabi, to learn from us, and that's internationally accredited. The Abu Dhabi Falcon Hospital is a state-of-the-art care center specializing in these birds, but it is also the only falcon hospital in the world that is open to the public. It offers a once-in-a-lifetime chance to visitors to get up close and personal with these birds that are among the fastest moving creatures on the planet. That's a good sign. This shows that she's comfortable. Okay, good. You see how she's moving the head around? Yeah. That's a sign of a good hunting bird. You see here, there's a hole. Yeah. So this feather is missing, so we have to repair it because otherwise when she flies, the air will go through it so she cannot balance 100% correctly. So this means we have now to attach the feather, the new feather, into this part of the feather. When we fix the feathers, we have to put them in anesthesia. It's a very soft, a very gentle anesthetic. Now we have already selected some feathers from our spare parts, which we hope they will be okay. So now we are checking if this would go. We need to find the correct feather. This looks quite good. When we do such a procedure in the morning, she can go for training in the evening again. It's impossible to say now which is which is the The free flight aviary maintained by the hospital is also a fascinating place to observe the birds and their natural grace. There is also a museum in the hospital with photos and artifacts that give an insight into the history and importance of falconry in the culture. Visiting the Abu Dhabi Falcon Hospital is a remarkable experience. It's amazing to be at such close proximity to these wonderful birds, to see them at rest and in flight, and to understand how and why they're woven into the Emirati way of life. <laughs>